Today at Gadget Class, I'm reviewing the Shars Aventor Digital Caliper. This is their absolute origin SPC data output capable digital caliper. They do uh, make a cheaper one as well. This one is a large display format caliper without absolute origin. I'm going to be reviewing this in another video, so make sure you check out the links down in the video description below. Um, you may remember the video I did about two years ago where I compared seven different digital calipers to the Mitotoyo Digimatic series to see if you can get a really good quality digital caliper for less than the cost of a Mitotoyo, a Star, a Fowler. And what I found in that video is that you can indeed get a really good digital caliper for half or less the cost of a Mitotoyo. Um, there's a couple things you want to look for though. First and foremost, you want to make sure you're buying from a good company. You want a company that stands behind their products and makes their products in a good factory. And uh, these appear to be a quality instrument in pretty much every regard. All the uh, machine work and uh, finishing seems really top notch. Second of all, and almost most importantly, is that you want to make sure that someone at the factory actually took the time to inspect the caliper to make sure it meets its rated specifications and that it's been adjusted to uh, meet its specs and tolerance. Um, you go out and you get like a cheap Nico, which is basically the same one you get at Harbor Freight. Um, you become the final step in quality control. With Shars, uh, someone at the factory actually took the time to make sure it met its specs out the factory door. But uh, something Shars is doing that I've never seen any other company do is they're giving you the option to pay a little bit more and get one that is double certified. This one here was uh, certified by a third party independent uh, metrology lab, Fox uh, Valley Metrology in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Uh, you just pay a little bit more and they will have this sent out and double certified by a third party. That is a huge peace of mind. That means not only did you get factory check, you get third party check. That means you're going to get a great digital caliper out the door. So I think that's a, a big plus for Shars. The other good thing that uh, this one has that none of the other ones in this price range with Absolute Origin has is that it auto shuts itself off and it consumes very little power when it's in its off state, as you'll see here in a minute. I'm going to do a full uh, power consumption test with the caliper on and off. I'm going to show you the SPC data output ability, and I'm going to do a whole, or I already have done a whole lot of test measurements um, at different points along the face to make sure that there's not a lot of slop or uh, loose machining in there, and you're going to get accurate results that meet the rated specification across the lifetime of the product. So in terms of specs, it's pretty much the same as every other caliper on the market. It's got a resolution down to uh, half a thousandths, and it's got a accuracy down to a thousandths, which they all have. You want to make sure it meets that spec, though, and the Shars does that two times over. So let's get into the power consumption here right now. Okay, in order to properly test the amp draw of the caliper, both off and on, I've got uh, two AA batteries here hooked up in series to give me three volts. That's the same output as the CR2032 battery. When we go to test the Mitotoyo, though, it only uses 1.5 volts. It uses an SR44 battery. It uses half the volts. So I'm only going to use one of the AA batteries when we test the Mitotoyo. So in the off state, uh, this uh, Shars Adventor DPS is only drawing 1.5 microamps, not milliamps, microamps. That's very respectable. If we multiply that by the three volts of the battery, we're only getting about 4.5 microwatts of of draw with the caliper on. We turn it on though and we're getting uh, 20, 24.1 microamps. That is substantially more than the Mitotoyo as I'll show you here in a minute. We multiply that by the three volts of the battery. We're getting about you know 75 microwatts of power draw with the caliper on. But the fact that it's only drawing 1.5 while it's off is very respectful. Now let's compare that to the Mitotoyo. All right, so the Mitotoyo on is only drawing 4.7 microamps compared to the 24 that the Adventure was uh, showing. And then off we are seeing uh, two microamps. So um, the off power is uh, pretty pretty comparable. If we um, multiply 1.5 volts times the two, we're only getting about three microwatts um, compared to the Adventure, which was... Uh, um, 
you know, about 4.5 microwatts. And then in the on state, we're actually only getting 4.7 microwatts times the 1.5 volts, which is, uh, um, you know, only about 7 microwatts when active. So the Mitutoyo does draw substantially less power while on, uh, but comparable amount of power when off. And uh, the off power is the really important number. You don't want your caliper to be sitting there draining itself dead while you're not using it. And the fact that the Shars is only drawing 1.5 microamps while off is uh, pretty respectable. So it's a really good contender to the Mitutoyo um, compared to, um, in terms of price and features uh, versus uh, power draw and uh, everything else there. The Shars uses a micro USB SPC data port on their SPC data cable. And uh, that's quite a bit different than the one you see on like the Mitutoyu Digimatic that has a big square plug like that and uh, has a little data button on it. The only downside of this micro USB data option is that you don't have the data button right there to press. So if you're measuring large objects like this one inch uh, gauge block there, you have to take your hand away to press the data button down there, which may be an issue in some cases. Um, most of the time it is going to speed up uh, data entry enough that it is still plenty worth it, but it is nice to have a little data button there um, so that you don't have to take one hand away from your measurement uh, process. So just as an example here, I'm going to go ahead and do some test measurements. Uh, I got my table open where I was doing all my test measurements, and I'll show you just how easily you can do um, a whole series of test measurements. And this is the same way I was doing my test measurements for the data accuracy test. Measuring at various points along the face of the caliper. And as you can see, when you press the button, it goes right into the table there. So very easy to do. Um, SPC data capability is a nice feature to have. If you're going to spend, you know, um, a little bit of money on a caliper, you might as well get the one that's absolute origin and has SPC data output capability. As far as the cable itself goes, it does install as a basic HID device, same as a keyboard or a mouse. And uh, the SPC cable that I got from Shars actually did come with the old style Digimatic connector as well. So if you buy their SPC data kit, you get not only the micro USB connector, you get the one that works on the eye gauging and the uh, Digimatic as well. And they, those just plug right into the box there. So the SPC data capability does work really well, and I think it's a great feature for this caliper.